Hi everyone. All right, today we're going to be doing strength with five moves, okay? Alternating upper and lower body and then the last move is a balance move. And we're going to start off with a unique, different kind of a warm-up because I really want your shoulders to be ready for this because we're going to be doing some chest flies as well as overhead pulls and pressing. So, we're going to get our shoulders warmed up this way. So, what you're going to do is you're going to get on all fours and then you're just going to let your shoulder blades drop in and then you're going to press up. So you're retracting your shoulder blades up and down. I know it's a little different than what we're used to. It's a really good mobility move that we sometimes do in the videos, but I want to try it today for the warm up because, because the shoulders are going to be a big part of this workout. So we're going to get them warm. Okay. So just go up and down. Okay. Drop them in, get them up, drop them in and up. Good. Drop them in. Come on up, down and up and down and up and do one more down and up. Good. All right. They feel good, right? Shake it out. We're going to stand up now and we're going to do some hip openers. Um, this one is literally just, you open up your hip this way and you bring it this way. Same thing. This is like another very common mobility move. Um, that we're using as a warm up today because that's what we're going to do. Okay. Hips involve squats. We're always doing squats with weight. Today we have a band. I have a set of eights and 115. So stuff for the upper body, one for the lower body and a band to add a little something for our lower body moves as well. So that's what we got for equipment. Good. Come in and one more on this side. Good. Okay. Now this next one, I want you to take your fingers and interlock them and we're going to raise them lower and then raise your hands up and come down, connect them again, pull them back. Good. Hold it there for a second, drop them and raise your arms up, come down, lock them, pull them back. Another helpful move for the shoulders, raise them up, come on down, pull them back. Okay, we're ready one more time. Sumo squat, low as you can, short as you can, just get the hips going. Okay, we're just getting this motion warm and ready for our first move. Okay, now our first move is actually gonna be an Arnold press, not a squat, but we're getting everything warm. Two more, one and two. All right, grab your upper body weights. I'm gonna take mine, you grab yours. Good old fashioned Arnold press. So an Arnold press starts here. Yeah, I had to remember that for a second here. Okay. And we curl out and press up and then we come in again like that. So turn it, press it. The key here is your back is nice and straight and strong. All right, so let's go. We're going to count for 10. I got you on the time. Okay. And we're going to turn them up. Sorry, not curl them, turn them and then turn them back in. Pull your pelvic floor up when we're doing this. Don't just stand there all loose. Come on, pull it up. Whew. Right? This is an upper body move, but you're going to keep control of your back and your core by focusing on pulling that pelvic floor up. Okay? It's all connected, everybody. Whew. Press it up. Come on down nice and slow with control. Eyes are forward. <sighs> Exhale. When you release, come down slow. All right, we got four more. One. Nice and slow. Bring it in. Turn it out. Press it up. Good. Come on down. Two more. Okay, got it. Come on up. <sighs> come on down. And one more. Good. Press it up. And come on down. All right, now, now we're getting that band. Okay, if you don't have a band, completely fine. Put this on if you do. And then we're gonna get our heavier dumbbell. I'm gonna use my lower body one, which is a 15. You might have a different one. Whoa, I almost fell down. Okay, so we're gonna do, actually, we're gonna do more of a toe forward squat, okay? Because we're pulsing. So it's gonna look like this. Squat butt out and then pulse. One, two, three. Toes forward more than sumo style this time. Okay. 
So get your dumbbell here, go down, pulse three times, stand up, okay? Chest out, chest up, butt out. So we go down, pulse, one, two, three, up. Rest, go down, pulse it, one, two, three, come up, come down, pulse, one, two, three, up, come down, pulse, one, two, three, up, nice, let's go, down, pulse, one, two, three, good, now if you don't have a band, that's okay, oh, one, two, three, a modification, two, is no weight, pulse, two, three, good, otherwise, grab your weight, keep going, one, two, three, or another modification is no pulsing, just sit in the low squat. The key is come down, pulse. Two more after this. Do what you can to make the squat your most important part of this thing. This move. The pulsing, the weight are all optional. The squat is not. One, two, three. Good. Now, we are going to leave this band on, but it's doing nothing except for staying on for our fourth move because our next move is upper body. We are gonna do a chest fly and an overhead pull all in the same motion. So your upper body dumbbells, whatever you're using, and you're gonna chest fly out and overhead pull. So the band is just on, it's doing nothing. Okay, so we're gonna fly out, elbows bent slightly, bring it back in, connect, and overhead pressure back into the floor, come up, fly out, hold it, come in, okay, overhead pull, and come in. That's what it looks like. Make sure you have the right dumbbell. If it's too heavy, get a lighter one, and make sure you pressure back into the floor when you overhead pull, okay? So everyone start up top. Here we go, arms bent slightly, and we come out wide, we hold it, we come in, we go overhead, we press our back in, and we come up. Okay, you got the rhythm. Out, come in, over, come up. Now, if the overhead pulls too much, I want you to just chest fly. Don't go overhead. Just stay at the top while we, go the, while we do the overhead, and you just chest fly out. Good, overhead. Okay, good. When that back gets pressed into the floor, your core is engaging. Good. Chest fly out, come in. Good, come down and up. Out, in. Okay, all right, two more after this. Here we go, here's one and in and over and up and one more. Come out, come in, and we're over, and we're up. Whew, that's good. Okay, we're staying down here, but we're using our band again. So get rid of your dumbbells. No dumbbells, only band. If you're here, move it up as close as you can to your knees, because watch what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a banded march. Okay, this is gonna hit the glutes and the hamstrings, and the core, really. So you're gonna lift your butt off, you're gonna bridge, and we're gonna march, flat, march, flat, okay? Now, if you don't have a band, again, that's all right, you can still do this. The band just gives a little extra resistance, okay? So this position right here, my, my leg with my foot on the ground, that glute is firing, okay? That's what it looks like. Foot comes back down flat on the mat. Are we ready? So lay down, feet are flat, Bridge up, now we're gonna march. Up and flat, and up and down. Keep going. You don't have to stay with me. Okay, stay in the rhythm. If your band starts to creep up on your thighs, like mine is, take a second, push it back towards your knees and keep going. Okay, start it as close as you can to your tops of your knees or thighs so you can march. Now, if you need a break, you just put your bum down for a minute and rest for a second, okay? Get back up and do it again. March it out, march it out. 
glutes, hamstrings, core. Bam. It's all going. All right, now let's do one more on each leg. So wherever you're at, one and one. Whoo! Now we can take it off. Okay, now we're gonna stand up, and this is our balance move. So grab your upper body weight. Watch what we're gonna do here. It's a balance move, so we're gonna try our best. You're gonna lift one leg like this, okay? I'm gonna do it like this first. Like this, that's all you're gonna do, right? Then we're gonna take this dumbbell, and we're gonna slowly rotate it around us. Now you may fall over, go like this. Put your foot down for a minute, okay? Get your balance, pick it back up. Okay, concentrate. That stationary leg's doing all the work. Anti-rotation, this is doing the work. Focus is balanced, so don't stress out if you can't do it. Just toe, toe tap for a minute, start up again. All right, pick your leg that you're starting on, lift it, and let's rotate the dumbbell around. Find something to look at, whether it's forward, on the ground, chest up, eyes forward, slow. This isn't fast. You want your core to really work and this leg to increase the strength in your ankle. I'm looking out the window. <laughs> ankle, um, your quad, your glute, your hamstring, right? All these are the biggest muscle groups in your body. You want to make sure that those are strong. And the reason we practice balance is we don't want to fall and hurt ourselves. Okay. All right. Ready to switch legs? Switch other way. Get yourself settled, pick up that foot, and let's go around. Okay, good. Keep going. All right. Oh, if you lose your balance, put your toe down. Keep turning that dumbbell, lift it up. All of these moves, practice. Practice makes progress. It's the way we roll. We don't say, I can't do it. We say, I can't do it yet. And then we keep practicing and we do it. Reminds me of my son playing guitar. He's learning all these new things and it's hard at first. And he says, I suck at guitar, but no, you just haven't practiced enough. All right, let's go. All right, ready? Last one. Take it around. Whoa, I'm falling now. Here we go. Good. All right. Shake that out. We're back up to the Arnold press. We're moving now. Round two and three, we go. We know what we're doing. All the modifications are given. Get that Arnold press ready to go. Ready? Let's go. Up and in. Come on up. There's two. And we go up. Chest is up. Eyes are forward. You're doing it. Come on, press it up. Strong shoulders. We're doing this. Let's go. Let's go. In and up. Good. We got it all figured out now. We got three more. Here's one. Here's two. Come on. Let's go down and one more. And three. Awesome. Okay. Get your band back on. Get whatever dumbbell you're using for the squat. Toes are forward. Okay, toes are forward because we're pulsing. Are we ready? Let's go. And one, two, three, come up, come down. One, two, three, come up, come down. One, two, three, good. You know how to modify this if you need to. One, two, three, get rid of the band, get rid of the weight, get one of one or the other. One, two, Three, but don't get rid of the squat. Okay, one, two, three. Good, even if you have to squat low, I mean shallow. I don't know what to say, not as low, whatever that word is. <laughs> Just make sure you're practicing. Good, three more, come down, pulse. One, two, three, up. Let's do it again. One, two, three, and last one. Come on, one, two, three. Good, put that big one down. Okay, lay down. Chest fly, overhead pull. If the overhead pulls too much, just chest fly. Feet flat on the ground. Here we go, elbows bent slightly. 
Ready? And we go. Out. And in. Oh, and overhead. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot. And we're up. Okay. Fly out. Come in. Overhead. And up. Good. Keep going. You know the rhythm. Out. In. Over. Here we go. Fly out. Come in. Overhead. And that's good. Come out. Come in. Fly over. Come up. Nothing's hitting the floor, right? Not your elbows, not the dumbbells, right? That's all being controlled by your midsection. Let's go out, in, over. And this is the last one. Let's go. One last one. Out, in, over, and up. Whew. All right. We're marching. We're marching. Flat feet. Okay. Bridge up. And we go. Up. Oops. I'm going to move my band up. Sorry. Up. Let's go. Now let's go. <laughs> March. Flat feet. March. Flat. March. Good. Concentrate on not rocking. Okay. One leg comes up. The other one's stationary. It comes back down. Get your balance. Move it back up. Squeeze the glute. All of it. March. It's not at speed. It's with intention. Muscles are working. So everything goes as stable as possible. I'm sh mine's riding up, so I'm just putting it back to my knees. All right. Keep going. And after this one, one more in each leg. Here's one here. And here's one here. All right. That was good. That was a fun one. I like that a lot. Okay. Balance. All right. First round might have been tough. See if you can improve on this one. Here we go. Pick that foot up, whichever one you want to start with picking up. And we try to go around with the dumbbell. Okay. It's not easy. I know. Okay. Tap if you need to keep moving it around. Okay. Stable midsection. Lift it up if you can. Keep going around. Find something to stare at. Spread the toes on the stationary leg for better balance. Keep going. Around, around, around. Whew. All right, let's switch. Switch legs. Other leg comes up. All right, find something to look at. Okay, good. You can do it. Whoa, I needed a tap there. Lift it. Go around. Hold it. This is so good for the core. So good for the balance. Who yeah. You know, you can do this watching TV at night or just right, like right before you go to bed, just stick one leg up and just try to move something around your body like this. You can do, you can use a hairbrush, you know, it doesn't have to be weighted. Okay, here we go. A little bit more long, a little bit more long, a little bit longer. <laughs> Ready? All right, that's good. Awesome. Okay, last round. Here we go. I'm gonna fix my hair. Like always, get those dumbbells. Arnold press, last round. This is it, we're done after this. So let's give it our all, okay? Here we go. Up and in. And up and in. Come on up. Bring it in. Come on up. Remember, don't stand there loose. Pelvic floor pulled up. Think about it. Five more. That was halfway. Here's six. And seven. Come on. Eight. Let's go. Two more. Here's nine. Come on, one more. And 10. Okay. You know the drill. Get the band. Step in. Step in. Get whichever dumbbell you want to squat with. We are going. Toes forward, butt out. Let's go. 
down. One, two, three, up. Come down. One, two, three, come up. Down. One, two, three, up. Come down. One, two, three, and up. Come down. Pulse, 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 and up. Come down. One, two, three, and up. Here we go. Down. One, two, three, and up. Three more. Let's go. This is a little harder. Come on. One, two, three. You can do it. Two more. One, two, three, and up. Last one. Come down. And one, two, three. Okay, chest flies. Leave that down. Leave the band on. It's doing nothing for us. We're just keeping it ready for the last move. All right, we got it. Here it is. Ready? Elbows bent. We're flying out. Fly out. Come in. And over. Why do I always forget the overhead on that? <laughs> okay. Come out. And in. And over. Back pressed in the floor. Don't forget. And up. And out. And in. And over. Okay, come up. Fly out. Come in. Chest. Working that chest. Those pecs. Pectorals. Good. Keep going. This is good. And over. And in. All right. Three more to go. Here's one. Good. Here comes two. And over. And here comes three. And last over. And overhead. Good. Drop those guys. Push that band up towards your knees at the top of your thighs. Flat feet. Bridge up. And let's march. March. Flat feet. March. Flat feet. Slow and controlled. March. Flat. March. Flat. Squeeze the glute on the leg on the ground. Okay? Squeeze it. Keeps your balance better. <sighs> Keeps you from wobbling. <sighs> the glutes are the powerhouse of the lower body. <sighs> All right, I'm sliding up. So ready after this one, I'm taking a little rest here, pushing my guy up, starting over again. Let's go. We just got to keep rolling. Okay, stay in your rhythm. <sighs> Good. Come on, girls. You got it. So good. All right, after this last one you do, now I want you to do one more on each leg. One on this leg and one on this leg. Holy. All right, that last balance move and we're out of here. It's a quick one. I hope we're good. Getting out of here quick. Some workouts, we just need them to go faster, right? Okay, get a little head rush there. All right, ready? Okay, I gotta concentrate. Pick it up and go and go it's not easy we're not here for easy whoa tap it out i had to tap it out for a minute okay slow grab it come around good come around good keep going nice try your best don't quit Set goals for yourself if this is hard. Here we do. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. All right, last one as I fall over. Okay, get your other one up there. Right? I'll go this way. And we go. Try it out. I can't look at the camera because then I'll fall, but you know what you're doing. This is so good. Just to test your balance, to see where you're at, right? It's a baseline. That's the thing. If something's really hard for you, that's just your baseline now. Well, your starting point. It won't be your baseline forever, but it's a place to start to improve. We can't feel like we can't ever get to a better place. We just have to keep practicing. And we go around. And we go. And around. Your core's working so much right now, and you don't even realize it, and that's the beauty of this exercise. All right. 
Wherever you're at, try to get your dumbbell around your body as I talk. I'm falling two more times. There's one for me. And the last one falling over again. Okay, I know the efficiency and effectiveness of these workouts gets it done. I have a total of four pieces of equipment for this whole workout and we did it. Okay, girls, see you on the next one.